welcome back to my channel. I actually just got back from my very first trip to Lidl. If you're not familiar, that is a grocery store chain that is getting pretty popular over here in America. I know it's also available in Europe as well. So even though I usually shop at Aldi, I decided to check it out and see how it compares to my all-time favorite grocery store, Aldi. And I have to be honest, they were a very good match for Aldi. Their prices were pretty comparable. They had a big variety of items and I had a really great time checking them out and seeing everything that they have to offer. My friend Dawn over at Lippy Housewife talks about Lidl all the time, so I had to go check it out for myself after hearing her talk about it over on her channel. So, so I'm about to share with you my grocery haul. You will notice that I bought a ton of stuff. I'm trying to slowly create a little stockpile since the cases of coronavirus are creeping up in our country. I don't wanna run into issues having things on hand because as we all know, it was very hard to find certain items back in the beginning of the pandemic. So I'm trying to just kind of slowly gather some things, stick them in my freezer, tuck them in my pantry just to have on hand, just in case. And also, as you probably know, if you've seen any of my other recent videos, I don't eat gluten or dairy as part of my way of managing my PCOS. So most of the stuff that I bought is gluten and dairy free with the exception of a few things that I buy for my husband and kids. Um, so just keep that in mind throughout the grocery haul and let's just jump right on in. I'll start with the produce since that's the majority of what I purchased today. Um, I bought some of these. These are cotton candy grapes. My daughter loves these and I can see why because they are really yummy and they're super sweet. So I bought three packages of those. She could eat these every single day and she pretty much does. They're out of season so they can be hard to find. So that's why I stocked up on those some strawberries my kids love, and I got some raspberries for me. Uh, berries tend to be a lower glycemic index fruit, so they have less of an effect on your blood sugar and insulin levels. So if you're gonna eat fruit with PCOS, then I would definitely suggest getting berries. So I try and eat, stick to like blueberries, and I picked up some raspberries because they were on sale. Um, back there is some peppers that I use in a lot of different recipes. I have been buying a head of cauliflower pretty much every time I go to the grocery store and I just chop a little bit of it up and I add it in almost every single recipe just to like bulk it up, get some extra vegetables and vitamins in there, especially my soups. Like you hardly even realize it when you add the cauliflower, um, like it has such a mild flavor. So I try and add cauliflower in like pretty much everything that I make. I got a big container of spring mix, um, so I'll be using this for a lot of different salads. Some avocados are great for adding healthy fats to your meals. Um, I picked up some green beans, and then this asparagus I'm so excited about. I hate those very like skinny asparagus. I just love when they're nice and thick like this. Um, so I picked up those, some scallions mushrooms and i was very excited to see these i have been seeing these more often and you used to only be able to find these rainbow carrots at trader joe's but more and more grocery stores are carrying them so i got two packages of them and i also like that they're organic as well some celery i'm using a lot of these vegetables for a chicken and rice soup that i'm going to be making this week um, some cucumbers I use in salads. I'm also making poke bowls, so I'll be using cucumbers, and they're also great for dipping. Speaking of which, I got two different dips. I got their um, guacamole cups and roasted red pepper hummus. I like bringing these to work, and I like that they're already portioned out for you, so you don't overdo it. Bananas for my kids, um, and these peppers are great for dipping, which is why I like getting those. Um, just real quick, I found this. I don't usually buy stuff like this, but I figured I would give it a try. It's a vegan quinoa salad, so it's gluten and dairy-free, which is how I like to eat with my PCOS. Just find that it helps keep the inflammation at bay. So I picked that up, um, and then I'll just have to add some protein in it, and that could be an easy lunch for me one day. Um, moving on to dairy section, I don't consume dairy, but my family does. So I picked up some milk for my kids. My husband likes sour cream on tacos, and I haven't bought it in like months, so I picked one up for him. This little squeeze bottle is great um, for like tacos. 
Eggs are a staple in my house. I already had a dozen eggs, but we go through a lot, so I picked up one more. Um, some vanilla yogurt for my kids. They really like it, and I like buying ones that have like a reasonable amount of sugar to them because yogurts, especially the flavored ones, tend to have a lot of sugar. I picked this up. Um, this was the only non-dairy ice cream that I found in the freezer section. Um, so it's great that they have a non-dairy option. I do believe that the cookie dough does contain some gluten, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but um, I figure, you know, I could use it as a treat every now and then. So that's sort of it for the dairy. I was excited to see that they did have a huge, well, they had a huge cheese section in general. Um, so if I was gonna be making like a cheese board or charcuterie, if I was having people over, then I would definitely pick up a bunch of stuff there. But I was excited that they did have one non-dairy cheese. Um, they had a non-dairy cheddar. So I try not to eat too much of that, like, cause it is sort of processed, but it's good to know that they have it. So as you can see, I picked up a lot of different meat options. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I am trying to do a little bit of stocking up just because of the increase in coronavirus cases across the country. So I'm getting like a reasonable amount. I'm trying not to be like a hoarder. Um, so I picked up four of these. They are ribeye steaks and these were on super sale. They were, let's look at this here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, they were only $4.99 each. So they were uh, $3.50 off each. So I thought that was really good price. Um, and I also like that these are grass-fed Angus beef because that's good, no antibiotics, no added hormones, gluten-free. So I felt really good about purchasing this. This was a little bit of an impulse purchase. It's a seasoned boneless leg of lamb. I don't cook a lot of lamb. However, I do have an air fryer with a rotisserie spit, so I thought that this sort of cut would be perfect to put on the spit and cook it like rotisserie style. And it's already seasoned, so I don't have to do anything there. So that was a little bit of an impulse purchase, but I think it'll be good. I like picking up chicken sausage. I actually eat this a lot for breakfast, especially if I'm making like hash browns. It's a great protein option when I get sick of eggs. So I picked up two of those. Um, I also like that these are antibiotic free. Um, Italian style is like one of my favorite seasonings. They're gluten free. So all around looks like a very high quality meat product. I also picked up four of these ground beefs. These were also on super sale. I like that they're organic grass-fed beef again. So the fact that these were on sale, they were only $3.19 each. These are each one pound. So that's a really good price. They were actually cheaper than like the regular non-organic beef. So I got four of those. That was the maximum we were allowed to purchase. So I thought that was a really good price. I also got two of these Chilean salmon um, portions. These were on super sale too. They were only $4.89 a pound. So that's a really, really low price for salmon. I got some ground turkey. I'm gonna be using this. I'm making a tamale casserole. So that called for turkey breast. And then I got some corn over there. That's also going in the tamale casserole. I got two things of boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I use this in so many recipes. I'm definitely gonna be using it in my chicken and rice soup. I can't remember if there's anything else I'm using it in. Let me look at my meal plan. Um, no, I guess I just purchased two because they were such a good price. These are only $1.89 a pound. So that's a really good price for chicken breasts. So I got two of those. So I just portioned those into freezer bags and um, stick those in my deep freezer. Their bacon was also on sale. This looked like a very good quality one as well. No antibiotics ever. It's uncured, no nitrates. So thought that was good. That's why I picked up two of those. And I believe this was also on sale. Um, yeah, this was only $3.49. So they were $1.50 off each. So I can put one in the freezer, one in the fridge. So that's it for the meats. Moving on to the frozen stuff. I didn't buy a ton, but I saw these. These are little falafel balls. I love falafels. Um, although I wasn't sure if they would have gluten in them, but they don't, which is awesome. I maybe should, should have got two, 
but I'm actually making grilled chicken salad for dinner tonight, so I thought this would be a great thing to add in there. And it would be like a healthy carbohydrate. They are made with chickpeas if you're not familiar with falafel. I'm gonna cook them in my air fryer so they get nice and crispy. And that's gonna be super yummy because, and give it like a little bit of crunch because I don't put croutons in my salad since I'm gluten-free. So that'll be a great thing to add into my grilled chicken salad tonight. I already mentioned I got, got corn for my tamale casserole. Um, I was excited to find this. A lot of prepackaged kind of like frozen meals have either gluten or dairy in them. So it's hard to find one that's free of both. So that's why I picked up two. This is a seafood paella. So it has rice and different seafoods in there. Their frozen seafood did look pretty good. I was very impressed with how their frozen scallops looked. If you've seen my Aldi videos before, you know their scallops are like one of my favorite things to get because they're like jumbo and very reasonably priced. So the little ones looked really good too. So if I didn't already have some in my freezer, which I do, I probably would have bought them, but I'm probably gonna add that to this paella just to like bulk it up a little bit. I don't know how much seafood's actually in it. And then I got um, chicken nuggets for my kids because they're kids, they eat a lot of chicken nuggets. <laughs> I got their freezer bags. I got the gallon size and the quart size. I do a lot of freezer cooking. And as you can tell, I like to buy a lot of meat in bulk and store it in my deep freezer which was like such a savior, you know, throughout the pandemic to be able to buy things and keep it in the freezer so it stays fresh. So I was out, I bought those. I didn't actually need this because I have some tahini, but I was really, I just bought it anyways, whatever, because I love how this bottle of tahini comes. It's in like a squeeze bottle, which makes it so easy to use. Um, I already had some in my pantry, but I have just come to love the taste of tahini, especially making tahini salad dressing. It is so delicious. I think I shared that in one of my Whole30 videos um, back from August, but I bought this because I just thought this was a really convenient way to be able to use tahini in a squeeze bottle rather than like in a jar. It can get kind of messy. So I got that. I also got some coffee. I was a little bit disappointed in their coffee selection. Um, they did have quite a few different options, but most of them are whole bean and I'm kind of lazy. I prefer it already ground. Um, so if I wasn't that picky about whole bean versus ground, then I would have more options. So I bought this. Um, it's just like a French vanilla coffee, um, but I probably won't be buying my coffee there again because I just tend to drink more like plain coffee rather than flavored, but whatever, this will do for now. I was out, so had to get something. I got some chicken broth. I'm gonna be using in that chicken and rice soup. I saw this and picked it up. Um, I can either use this as a snack or I was thinking I would kind of crumble it up and use it in my poke bowls. And I was very pleased because this is gluten-free because they use tamari in it and not traditional soy sauce, which usually contains wheat. So I was happy to find um, this little snack. Um, these diced tomatoes. I bought this just to have in the pantry. It's quinoa and brown rice, which is two gluten-free grains. These aren't for me, but my kids love the Aldi dark chocolate butter cookies. So I bought these just to see how they compared. So we'll see if they like them or not. Um, I love green salsa. It's like one of my favorite salsas. I love putting it on tacos. Gives it so much flavor. I was out of bay leaves, so I picked up some bay leaves and I was very pleased with the price of the spices at Lidl. They were all very reasonably priced. I got two things of canned pumpkin. I am still in full blown fall baking mode and so many recipes I'm using call for canned pumpkin. So I buy, bought two of those. And as far as like the gluten-free stuff, I was pleased to see that they had a little gluten-free corner of one of the aisles. Um, I picked up this bonza pasta. This is a very good gluten-free pasta. It's made from chickpeas. So it has protein and fiber, which is awesome. They did have a Lidl brand um, as well. So they had a variety of different shape pastas in the Lidl brand and they also had a gluten-free bread. And even though it was out of stock, I did notice that they had gluten-free pretzels as well, but maybe those are super popular because they were sold out. 
So I didn't buy too much because I already have some gluten-free bread, um, you know, from when I went to Trader Joe's recently. And I didn't want to buy too much pasta because I try not to eat a ton of pasta, even though it's gluten-free. So I'll be trying those over the next, you know, couple months as I run out of things. I'll give those a try, let you know how they are. Um, I do love these crackers. I've had them before, so it was nice that they had them at Lidl. They had a few different um, flavors. I think just two flavors, this regular one, and then there's like a salted one. So these are great with dips um, as well. I cut my kids new toothbrushes because they were due for that. And then I got my kids, these are like their favorite flavor of chips, so I got those for them as well. So that's it for the food. As you can see, I bought a lot, but I have just one more thing to show you, or a few more things to show you that isn't food related. So you're gonna laugh at me, but I bought two packages of these t-shirt bras. You're gonna think I'm crazy for buying bras at a grocery store, but I, really needed new bras and I am trying to lose a little bit of weight as you might have known and I didn't want to invest in like high quality bras until I try and lose a little bit more weight so I bought them cross your fingers to me for me that they fit well um, because there's four of them there I bought this that I was just impossible to resist it looked so cozy it's like a chunky fur lined sweater cardigan that oh just is so soft and cozy picked that up it wasn't too pricey i also got this it's a tunic sweater so i can wear this with leggings because it's nice and long and then to round out my little sort of stockpile i got some toilet paper and paper towels um, every now and then it can still be hard to find these paper products. So I figured I would get them while I can. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing everything that I got at Lidl. And let me know if you have a Lidl near you, if there's anything that I didn't purchase that you would recommend me trying. And I'm going to see you guys next Monday with another brand new video. Bye.